<laughs> Hello, YouTube. My name's David, and well, I'm starting this channel and to make videos to inform people on stuff that I've, I find interesting and cool, and well, possibly. Um, some of the stuff that I have figured out can help other people, other people with problems that they're having. So, yeah. So, oh, uh, what I have here is the uh, yesterday I bought from another YouTube user who. Is goes by the um screen name the um who's um if his isn't uh, um name he uses on YouTube is B Bishop's PCM World. I bought this from him. It's a uh, Commodore sixty four. He he didn't want it, so I bought it from him, along with that box as a software and the monitor there. He threw in the, um, this computer for free, and it was a smart to buy, and I have to, I scripted the intro to this video just because... I didn't know what I was gonna say at first. <laughs> so, get that away. So, anyway, the main focus of this video will be this Commodore 64 and all the stuff that's in, it, in with it. I have opened this box once before just to make sure if everything was inside and get everything to fit nicely in the box. But I have I have not gone looked into looked at the stuff in a lot of detail. And so I thought this would be a a good um, subject for the first video. Um I will make future videos with with where I set actually set it up and power it on and get it working. So if you like this, stay tuned for that. Uh, this will just be me unboxing this. I mean, this is a big plastic tub. In the pretty good sized box of stuff. And while I was, for the price I paid, I was not expecting this in that. In I was expecting the monitor and computer in the disk drive. I was not expecting. Get two ba two big car good sized cardboard boxes of software along with a big six a six quart jumbo container with jumbo storage container with a lid. So that was enough of me that's yammering on. What? Actually, open this up. And, well, you can see. I didn't know that the printer came with it. But, <laughs> all these books and stuff, I did not. <laughs> so, this, right on top. It's 
a hun one thousand and one things to do with your Commodore sixty four. Has a lot of programs in it and stuff. I have looked through it. This is a good book because I've never actually owned a Commodore sixty four or even turned one on. <laughs> So, this is new for me. I saw it, and I knew I had to buy it. <laughs> I just, I just knew that I had to. <laughs> I, I just knew I had to get this. And this is the user's manual for the um, drive that's the floppy drive that's in here. This, this is one they um, actually had. They actually supplied good sized manuals with computer hardware. Something that I have not really seen in my seen in my lifetime except for with used equipment. In uh printer drive printer interface um book of instructions on the interface and stuff for the printer here. Oh let me put that back in view. It, this printer. <laughs> Doing this all with one hand. I get why people in YouTube videos that are, their camera work is not good unless they use a tripod because this is not easy. It's an Oki Tower printer. Small. I mean, I have. Another dot matrix printer over here, covered in stuff. If you can see that, but it's big, <laughs> so this is small. So I may you I may use this in the future. Get rid of that big one. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> You can imagine this box was pretty heavy. Was pretty heavy. Have I had to take it and move it to my car, and then take it and walk up, a <laughs> go basically through the house to the second floor with this uh, <laughs> arms were so after that. Of course, I'm more. I'm a guy who comes home from electronic flea markets with big computer towers, so I'm used to having so arms. Here's a Commodore data set that comes with it. Let's see. And yes, it has the tape in it. Printer tape. Focus. That this is actually the main reason I bought this computer. Not for the disk drive, which I know is much better, but I have an Apple II that has a disk drive, and I wanted to experience a computer. That ha uh, that ring was able to load and save from tapes, since the Apple Two C cannot, because it has no tape deck interface. And <laughs> that's a box, a uh, box of floppiness, I think. Yeah, floppy disks. 
five and five and quarter inch. Put that aside. And more floppy disks. Probably should have read this before. Make sure the previous owner didn't leave its name on anything. Backups <laughs> of something. <laughs> well, another dish star view the guide. This guy have is it two dish stars with us? No, I think it was just one. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> and the user manual for the computer itself. And another user's in a user's ad for Commodore 64. That's cool. <laughs> and uh, 1541 Commodore 64 disk drive for floppy disks. Yeah. <laughs> and joysticks. Cable okay, stuck in the machine. <laughs> this arms here. And, and the, um, you know what I mean. Ooh, an RF switch box thing. Well, this is cool. Allows you to connect to an antenna TV. You is that cool? It's a neither coax. Or antenna input and a composite input for something in a switch. Very cool. I've never actually seen one of those, have only. Hey, that might be a lie. It might be one of my dad's old teeth. Old um antenna TV, but I don't know. I haven't seen it in years, so I think yeah. <laughs> that goes to power. <coughs> another another joystick. Three of them, and another one of these boxes. Wow. Yeah, I bet this from it's not kidding when he said this was a complete set. A complete system. More more floppy disks. And just so you know, I've put the alpha side aside so all of this all of this is not scripted. <laughs> Only the intro to the video was scripted. More floppy desks. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every single floppy desk that came with the thing, I would, I'd be able to like triple the price I paid for this. And more floppy disks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Word processing system? Any word processing program? Hmm. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Well, probably one of the a dust cover. Andy. Probably need probably should keep it under a dust cover. What is this big book? Programmer's reference guide. Yeah, that's really big. But it will probably come in handy. That's I really don't really, I know basically the basics of basics. Not much else. Ooh. Was this some adapter? Something. Looks like a PS2 connector. Connector in there. Oh yeah. Some of this stuff I have no idea what it is. So if you know what it is and you want to comment and tell me what it is, that be fine with me. <laughs> is super expander cartridge okay that's one of only two cartridges I've seen in all of the stuff so far so apparently this previous on previous owner of this just, you bought that S5 and never bothered to buy another cartridge. Or something like that. Not many cartridges in here. At least not that I found so far. And, yeah. Previous owner must have been a smoker. <laughs> Does smell a bit of cigarette smoke. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> Cigarette, it can be cleaned. Which I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna have to do. Uh, the Apple 2C? <laughs> got it, not yellow. Wasn't yellowed at all when I got it. Monitor was. Printer that came with it that never worked was. <laughs> But the actual computer wasn't, so I didn't have to do any cleaning on it. This I think I will. Ooh, the manual for that cartridge. Good to have. And like coax cable. Per Oh, probably plug into a TV or something. Introduction to basics part one. Yeah. Okay. I know some of you are probably like, show us the machine already! And getting to that. And some cable. Probably to connect this drive to computer, maybe? I'm going to have to figure out how to put this system together before I make that setup video. <laughs> Just don't want to look. Don't want to look like I know nothing on camera. Which is probably not the best. Which is probably opposite of what I'm doing in this video. 
big power brick. Yeah, this is really big. <laughs> Almost as big as I um. Yeah, it's almost as big. It's almost as big. Well, oh, pretty much as big as the one for the Apple II. You can see behind it, sort of. If I zoom in, that brick behind there. But it's pretty. Yeah, I'm thinking this is heavier. <laughs> I'll have to. I haven't touched that one for a while, though, since I got the system, so I'm gonna have to, um, weigh them both and <laughs> see which is actually how they are. That's, the brain can actually be deceiving with size versus weight. And this must be the connect, the, the video connecting cable. And... Oh, uh, let's get these books out of here first. I'll go through these in a minute. And finally, the computer itself. That looks <laughs> cool. And all the ports on the back. RAM expansion. That has a composite output. So, what is this for? If it has just a composite output, probably. Some serial and this drive, maybe. I see, yeah, that's probably it. One is probably for serial, and one's probably for this drive. For some of you who do know this, and for others who don't, um, it was actually one of these. Built inside of that, so that the processor in processor in it would not have to directly address all of the um, commands needed to locate a file on the disk and read it and stuff. It was a whole nother Condor 64 in these drives that did that. That would just talk through a serial cable to the main computer. Unlike the Apple II. Apple II and all, all our Apple IIs What in probably many computers after that, I don't know how many. I do know the Apple IIs, the processor directly, uh, directly addressed all of the um, locating and reading of infam of the, in whatever else that need is needed to actually read a floppy drive disk. I do know that off oh, so that was up in my head. Just because, just because I've watched YouTube videos and I've seen a lot of people say that. But yeah, uh, thing. Okay, it has three joysticks, uh, only two ports. Look like I have an extra joystick just in case. Cool. Looking around it. So um 
early style case. They had another one that, um, they redesigned the case, I think, in like, e 80, I probably, I might be wrong on this, but, e around, around 84, I want to say. I can, I can look up the date if anyone wants to ask me in comments about the actual date. I can, I can find it and give them the actual date. But I don't know that off the top of my head. But, yeah, so far, it's cool. I might... I may make a video or two on cleaning this whole thing, because, yeah, there's no dust, but it's really, yeah, can definitely tell that the guy smoked. If you could, I know you can't smell it, but I, when I took the lower stuff out of the box, <laughs> I could smell the odor of, I could smell a faint odor of cigarette smoke. So, <laughs> yeah, this person, this is getting blah, stuff on it. <laughs> getting that tar exhaled by some, exhale, when smokers smoke cig cigarettes, they, um, Cigarettes have tar in them, and only, um, and most of the tar stays inside, inside their bodies, but a little bit gets, ex, gets exhale, exhaled when they breathe out. Which is another thing why I find smoking completely disgusting. But the, um, that um that tar yeah stuff gets on everything, and it is as terrible because it causes the smell to linger. Terrible. No one, no one in the household where I live smokes, but have a person that I know, her dad smokes a whole lot. <laughs> he recently switched to e-cigarettes, but you can smell it when they when you get in the house. I'm just sorry if they watch this video and it offends them, but I just have to put that there. I, you can immediately tell someone smoked when you walk into the house of someone who smokes. I'm just going to leave it at that, not say any more. But, this, well, this whole system's pretty cool cool, especially for what I paid for it, which is, you could, I'm not going to say an exact number of what I paid for it, but I'm just going to say for, for the amount of stuff just in this box, that I got a I got a really good deal. I mean, the system isn't tested, but just the amount of stuff, that's, this is good. I mean, multiple of these, of these boxes, spare coax cable, which I have no idea what I'll use, do you look for is is 
this box is capable of putting signals out on both. Now it says, oh uh, yeah, it says antenna. So this must be for low, for those low end antennas, and this must be for like if the person has rabbit, has those big, big in, that big antenna on top of their house, which I. I know someone in this, I know someone in this world probably has that still, but I haven't, I haven't seen it recently. Of course, I, one of my neighbors might use it, but I don't often look at my neighbor's roofs, <laughs> so I cannot say for sure, <laughs> but this video is running long, and this whole cool, this system is really cool. I hope some people found it use the, some of this information useful. If, if, uh, if people ask in the future, I may, I may show off my Apple 2C. In a future video, especially with the stuff that I figured out how to do on it. But, uh, also, one, one more thing. The guy who I bought this from, he said he would love to see this thing running again. So... I've been meaning to get on YouTube for a while because I've because I've made I've made a couple videos that I was planning to post but I never did and I just that when he said he would love to see this working again I this I and that was just, like, the kick in the pants I needed to make this video. So, this was just an unboxing. I will. I don't know when. But in a future time, I will make a, I will make a video on me setting this up. And actually, probably powering on and doing stuff. So... I hope people... Oh, one more thing. I've read in an article somewhere. 